Hi OT dudes and dudettes. I wanted to share a tool that I used in grad school and continue to use to be very productive. Let's get functional. Some of you may already be using this and that is the Pomodoro method. The idea is simple. You do something productive like study or read for 25 minutes, then you take a five minutes break this is called a Pomodoro, and then you repeat. After you have completed four Pomodoros, you can take a longer break, such as a 20 or 30 minute break. Before you click away and download a Pomodoro timer, here's why this helps and some things to keep in mind that I'll mention towards the end. First of all, what's great is that it's a timer, so that it keeps track of time for you and you don't have to worry about it. This motivates you to focus because you know that you will get your scheduled breaks and eventually in a longer 20 or 30 minute break. Doing this has made me more productive in grad school when I was studying as I easily got distracted. I knew that I could go on my phone, such as social media or browse the internet during my breaks when Pomodoro told me to. During those 25 minutes, I got a lot of work done. Nowadays, I kind of have the opposite problem. I could easily get so zoned into the work that I'm doing that I forget to take breaks. So the Pomodoro method still works because it serves not only to be productive, but also to take care of my mental and physical health by reminding me to take breaks from say my computer screen or my phone so that I can take a walk, stretch, use the bathroom, drink more water, and eat, that kind of thing. Staring at a screen too long can be straining on your eyes and it's easy to just keep staring and staring and you may not have the best posture too ergonomically hunched over with your neck bent down, that kind of thing. The Pomodoro method is popular so it's available on pretty much all devices and platforms. You can type in Pomodoro on the App Store and you can see which one looks best to you and download it. I like Just Focus on the Mac because it keeps a timer on the top and counts down and warns you have a, when you have a minute left. And it actually pops up a large screen message telling you to take a break. And it's like nice images and inspirational quotes to keep you going. In the past, I've used Pomodoro apps on the Mac where the timer runs out and it's easy to miss it because it's so small and you can just keep going. Just Focus actually has that full screen notification, so it's hard to miss that. Of course, if you're doing things like an hour long Zoom lecture, then you may not want to turn on this timer because it may you know, block your screen and interrupt you. And you don't want to do that during a meeting or a conference, things like that. On Windows desktop, I don't remember what the app is called, but I, I use it a lot too. And there are a lot of good looking ones on the Windows store for free as well. So you can check those out. If you're into data and statistics, these apps generally keep a log or record your sessions too so that you can see how productive you were from day to day and compare and like make it a game for yourself. Especially if you're just starting out, you're not likely to be successful, right? So it's easy to um, read these things and look at how you're progressing and to motivate you. A popular one for Android and iOS is Forced. It has a cool theme. Basically, you grow trees and as you do more per pomodoros and basically grow a whole forest. It can be more motivating than say a timer counting down and they also have a Chrome extension which is kind of funny because you can add websites to the blocked lists such as Facebook or Amazon to limit your distractions. So like with anything in life, especially all the million apps that we may download and forget about these days, the key is to use it. With my computer, I have them start up at the boot up or log on and they basically start counting down already. The mobile versions will require more work. Maybe you can put that in front and center in your home screen, such as next to your Instagram or Facebook icons, so that you remember to use them. Using this Pomodoro technique will be better long-term for your eyes, your posture, your mental health, and physical health, all long-term, because you're basically being productive and taking your breaks. So are any of you using the Pomodoro method already? Let me know in the comments below and whether or not it has helped you become more productive.